Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist and back out in the field. And uh not sure what uh, we're gonna get today. It's gonna be a little cooler out. It's not even eight o'clock in the morning yet, so it's still pretty cool out even now. Um So I guess uh It'll be a little bit before I actually see a bunch of stuff out. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully I find something. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little sweeping here. To get started, and uh, hopefully today will be a good day out collecting. Looks like we got a little uh, bumblebee action right here. On a simoleon. You can see the uh, pollen they're collecting on the hind legs of the bee. Always awesome to see them at work. All right, so there's this milkweed here. And I zoomed over a little bit ago. And didn't even notice. This uh, beautiful red milkweed beetle. This is a Tetropes tetrothalamus. They are cerambicids, so longhorn beetles. And they are found on milkweed. There's a number of different species. I only have a couple. I wish I had all the species here in the, that you can find. But they're more speciose down in the southern states. They're all really cool looking beetles. Definitely wish I had more species. I think I have... I have two... Oops. Got a little bit right there. I have... Oh, I think I only have two species. Oh. There I have, so I guess I have a pretty poor representation of my collection. Slowly, but hopefully though, I can add species as I go along. Maybe I can, uh, get people to collect them for me who knows but uh ground is wet with dew a lot cloudy right now but I did manage to collect some ants I found underneath the log so we'll see what else there is I found a, a really cool looking Newman wasp I'm trying to get closer without it scaring off. Well, that's absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if I've ever actually seen this species before. I know I definitely don't have one in the collection. Absolutely beautiful. Nice 
decent size of opositor. I mean, this isn't a small wasp, it's medium size, I'd say. Little long lady fly there. Flew off to the leaf back there. That's really sweet. So I'm actually going to try to get a picture and uh, try and collect it actually. And then I'm going to keep searching these uh, poplar trees because I've been finding buprestids on them. Um, so hopefully I'm going to try and collect a few of those. So, see how this goes. All right, so what we have here is actually a yellow jacket uh, enjoying a, a little caterpillar. What uh, a lot of people don't actually realize is uh, wasps, yellow jackets and stuff, are uh, excellent pest control as they eat insects. And you just don't really see it happen very often uh, right in front of you. Uh, and even though it was uh, brief, I was uh, able to at least uh, show you that. And uh, I actually found something else pretty interesting I'm going to show you here real quick. Alright, uh, so what we have here is a Japanese beetle. But, that's not the thing I'm going to show you. What I'm going to show you is actually... Focus, there we go. If you see on the... Uh, beetle there, those uh, white dots. Uh, that's actually a parasite of... Uh, Japanese beetles. So, uh, when you see Japanese beetles with these dots on them, um, they've been attacked by a tachinid fly called, uh, is it, it's like the winsome fly or something, but I think the scientific name is, uh, Istocheta eldrichi, or eldrichi. Um, their actually fly was actually introduced from Japan specifically to uh, combat the Japanese beetles. So this is a pretty, this is an example of a biological control to try and get rid of a pest uh, species. And as far as I know, the fly is actually extremely host specific so it generally only attacks Japanese beetles but I think there has have been cases where it has uh, parasitized other scarab species but I just thought this is something uh, not a lot of people know about and uh, I think it's uh, pretty cool All right, well, I'm really not sure if the weather's gonna hold out. Wind is picking up, and it looks like it might start raining here pretty soon. And the sun did come out for a little peak, but uh, disappeared really quick. So the sun warmed up a little, and now it's uh, chilly again. So I think what I'm going to do... Is, uh... Get some sweeping in and uh, hopefully get some stuff 
case the weather things and my net broke uh, so uh, I mean it's not surprising it was a really cheap net off Amazon for like 15 bucks lasted longer than it did but yeah you know, oh well Got some milkweed here. Some more bees. Down there enjoying. Probably take a gander at a few, see if I can find some milkweed leaf uh, milkweed weevils. I found a couple already. So I think this is going to be the first little, first little section to do some sweep. Some more milkweed beetles around here. Quick look into the net. Swept up some bumblebees. But I guess we'll uh, see what we get. Some bumblebees, got some uh, milkweed beetles. Got some. Uh, Scrollop species. See my little snout on them. But uh, looks like a milkweed bug down there. Just a bunch of small things. Spiders. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my vials out and see uh, what I uh, can collect from it. Alright, did a couple more sweeps. Kind of changed location. Got a lot of small things here. Got a really good looking uh, tree hopper. Some small stuff. A really pretty green beetle right there. I think I'm actually going to get that in a vial. Can't really blip something like that. Pass that one up. But a bunch of just small stuff. Another little green beetle right there. A weevil there. Mosquitoes. Very nice stuff in here. Let's uh, get some uh, collecting. Before I do that, got a saddle 
think there's a saddleback leaf hopper. Really gorgeous with a yellow and black coloration. There are some really beautiful leaf hoppers out there. Now I'm gonna get some of this stuff in the vials. All right, so what we have here are some lace bugs. These are really just fascinating insects. They're pretty much transparent. Let's see how far I can zoom in before. Okay, I think this is the limit where I can zoom in. But they're just tiny little things. And I managed to get quite a few of them in this last sweet nut. So if, and I don't think, I don't really don't know if I've shown very many of these on the channel. I don't know if I even have before. Now they're just running around in my leg there. Just intricately patterned and just tiny you can see I mean that's my hand right there they're just so small and uh, yeah luckily the rain and weather has been holding off here so I've been able to get some more collecting in uh, so far this is my vial Collected a couple of uh, robber flies and grasshoppers as well. So, uh, been a pretty productive morning. Not sure quite how long I want to stay out today, but we'll see. Just nice getting out. We got a pretty cool fly right here. See, it's uh, grooming itself. Can't tell you the name off the top of my head. I am um, almost worse than worthless with flies for the most part. So once it stops grooming itself and goes in its regular resting position. Or it'll just stay like that. Oh, there we go. Just as it flew away. My bad there with the blurriness. Been finding uh, good stuff today. Got a couple of weevils there. Weather is lighting up a little bit, so that's nice. Well, they're gonna be out for just a little bit longer, but hopefully continue finding a couple more things. All right, so I stayed out for about half hour longer, but didn't really uh, get much more. So back home, uh, got the stuff all taken care of. Um, 
this is just some stuff I have out, got out to dry out a little bit before I uh, get them on points. Um, this is the stuff I have planned out so far and pointed so far. Um, so I'm making progress getting through the vials from last year. This is all stuff from last year still pretty much. But. And uh, we have National Moth Week 2023 coming up starting on the 22nd. Um, it's going to be a fun time. I did take an extra day off work, so I have a three day weekend specifically to go out black lighting every night. And uh, I'm going to film a couple videos this week for next week. So uh, I kind of. This past couple of years I've been wanting to do some big filming plans and stuff for the moth week, but this year um, I've actually kind of already started, so it's going to be uh, fun. There should be a video out every single day for National Moth Week. Um, I'll be doing, uh, there's going to be some black lighting videos um, at different locations, and then I'm going to do uh, just a couple. Uh, videos of from um, uh, interesting moths I just talked about those they'll be at the University of Minnesota insect collection so uh, we'll go through a couple things uh, in their collection something some cool stuff and uh, should be uh, a video filled National Moth Week um, so I hope you guys are gonna be looking forward to that I can't wait um, had an excellent day out collecting today hope you enjoyed Saw some good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Leave a like, comment, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.